the headlines. The worldwide avian bird flu outbreak is causing concerns amongst researchers. And the closures. The birds are under quarantine because of a threat posed by avian flu. The spread of bird flu in Canada since late 2021 has experts on alert. You know, first wave was in March of 2022. Second wave was approximately in August or September of 2022. And um, this is the third set of um, outbreaks that we are seeing in, in Ontario. While experts have maintained the risk to the general population is low, the way the virus has been behaving in recent months is raising concerns. Other animals are getting infected, including skunks and seals here in Canada, in what scientists refer to as spillover events. It seems that the virus has become adapted or is in the process of becoming adapted to mammals. That is very disconcerting because that could be a prelude to adaptation to humans. And that's precisely what we don't want this virus to do. Cases of avian flu in people are rare, but not unheard of, particularly in Asia and the Middle East. So when these viruses do cause human infections, the mortality rate can be as high as 50 percent. Some experts say production of a human vaccine for bird flu needs to be on the table sooner rather than later. There are actually a lot of um, large multinational seasonal flu vaccine manufacturers who are capable of making bird flu vaccines using their existing infrastructure. Experts know the value of being prepared. There will be more pandemic potential viruses emerging and we need to have a much better system and a much better mechanism for predicting how, when and where viruses are going to emerge. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.